Stop, stop, stop. Back at the day, young lady. Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today we have another mock driving test. Like always, before we get started, here's a short video about the ultimate driving course, a very important tool for all learner drivers. If you've already uh, seen this video or are not a learner driver, you can skip the next 30 seconds. 38 easy to understand, precise videos covering every single topic required to pass the driving test. These are not just theory based. They are practical videos demonstrating everything from moving off and stopping a vehicle to all of the manoeuvres and every other module required. So if you're lacking knowledge or maybe your instructor has forgotten to cover something or you're just not grasping a certain topic, then this course has it covered. You can watch the videos before your driving lessons, which means you'll get into the car knowing exactly what to do. This will definitely save you time on your lessons. Okay, so today's learner driver is pre, and for those of you who are watching for the first time, the learner drivers that do these mock tests um, haven't had any driving lessons with me. And if you do want to take part in one of these uh, mock tests, which are totally free, all you have to do is drop a message on Instagram at DJ and Driving, and we just select people randomly. Okay, pre. So tell us a bit about your driving. Yeah, my driving is, I don't know, like I failed four times my test. You so failed four times. Like yeah. I want to improve my driving now, like see what, what's happened now. Okay, so w w what's the main issue? Or why do you keep failing? What, what do you think the main problem is? I'm having problem in roundabouts, I think. Yeah. Roundabouts? Yeah, I fail test all the time on roundabouts. I okay. Don't know. Cool. So um, yeah. we'll, we'll find out what the problem is today, yeah? yeah. Okay. Um, have you, obviously you've been through the show me, tell me questions with your yeah. instructor, yeah? Okay. Yeah. So the tell me question, so could you tell me um, how you would check your brakes are working before starting a journey? Um, just put your uh, feet on this brake and check is it spongy or not. Okay. And anything else? No, it should it should be not be too heavy, you know. Yeah. So that's fine. That part. Yeah. Something else? No. Okay. So the other part to the question is, yeah, um, you know, when you do brake, the car shouldn't pull to one side. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Right then. So uh, whenever you're ready. Yes, please. Um, if you can move off, we're going to start off by following the sat nav, yeah? Okay, okay. any faults you do make, I'll, I won't talk about them as they happen, we talk about them at the end, yeah? Okay. And for those of you who are watching, I will talk about the faults just before they happen on camera, yeah? Right, so whenever you're ready, move off, please. Turn right. One of the most common reasons for someone failing a driving test is poor observations before emerging out at a junction like this one. Always make sure you check and ensure it's safe before emerging out, just as Preet does here. He carries out good mirror checks before steering to the right to overtake this parked vehicle. When moving off at these lights, he comes off the clutch pedal too quick, so stalls, but he reacts well. Turn right. This right turn Preet does well. He approaches at the correct speed, selects the correct gear, and doesn't steer too early. Turn left. At this junction, Preet stalls a few times, as he doesn't have the clutch at the right point and isn't using enough gas. We did take a while to move off, but there was no one behind us.
तेरे को नहीं आती है This junction is slightly uphill. When moving, Preet has the clutch pedal too low and isn't at the biting point, so our car rolls back. He does this a couple of times and asks why the car's rolling back. Again, luckily there was no one behind us. You're on slight hill. Okay. At the start of the test, Preet did say that his main issue was at roundabouts, but he does this roundabout quite well. He stays in the correct lane and does good observations before exiting. This roundabout he enters well, but doesn't check the mirrors or signal when exiting. Turn left to do this car park. Now we're entering a car park in which I'll ask him to do the reverse bay parking manoeuvre. Stop anywhere along here and reverse into any bay, bay, please. In previous videos, you'll always hear me mentioning how important it is to check all around, including the back window before reversing. Pre doesn't check. Do lift the lever up from the front. Let's see that one. Yeah. As he begins to steer into the bay and our vehicle swings out, he carries out good observations. Our vehicle isn't inside the bay. So Preet decides to readjust, which is fine. But before readjusting, he doesn't carry out any observations. I'm not going to mark this down as an additional fault, because he's already been marked down for observations during this manoeuvre. Okay, finish? Yes, please. Okay, if you could um, drive to the left, follow the road round, yeah? Okay. At the end of the road, turn right. When exiting the car park, Preet goes onto the wrong side of the road because he thought it was a one-way. I had to intervene. 
Okay, back to the left, to the left. That's the wrong side of the road. Let's see. Oh, sorry. Okay. I thought it's one way. Okay. Again, when exiting this roundabout, he doesn't check the mirrors or signal. Roundabout, if you could go straight ahead, please. Second exit. We're going straight ahead at this roundabout, so Preet should have selected the left lane. He selects the right hand lane, which is okay as that is also marked for straight ahead. He should now keep to his lane, but as soon as he enters the roundabout, he moves to the left lane without any observations. Straight ahead, please, second exit. At this roundabout, he shows good lane discipline, but again, doesn't signal to exit the roundabout. Now I'm going to ask Preet to carry out an emergency stop. Okay, shortly we're going to carry out the emergency stop. He stops quite well. Remember to keep both hands on the steering when doing the emergency stop. Preet does take one hand off, but this wouldn't really be marked as a fault as long as you keep good control. Stop. Thank you, and move off when you're ready please. He carries out good all-round observations before moving off. Here his driving position gets very close to the curb. Now we're back at the test centre, let's find out what Preet thought about his driving. And switch off the engine, that's the end of the test. Okay, yes. how do you think you did? I think the uphill problem, you know. Um, I think roundabout's okay this time, I don't know. You think you passed or failed? I think I'm failed. For what? For like, you know the way where I go in the wrong direction over there. If you go the wrong way, it's not a fault. Okay. Yeah, as long as you haven't done anything dangerous. Okay. So if you say, if you use the wrong lane, you okay. don't go the wrong way, okay. that's... So if you're going to turn, so, um, say on a roundabout, you're going to turn right and you're in, you, you select the left lane to turn right. Then that's a that's a fault, isn't it? Yeah? Okay. Okay. And if you signal left and you turn right, that's a fault. Yeah. Okay. But you just miss your turning, okay. so that was no problem. Okay. So going the wrong way is, is not an issue. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, the faults where they did happen, yeah. So it was f you were doing quite good even on the roundabouts. It wasn't bad. You know when you first went to the roundabouts, yeah. yeah. Just be careful. You know when you're exiting the roundabout. Yeah. So you know when you turn right at the roundabout, yeah. yeah. So say if you're taking exit number three, yeah. Even before you get to the second exit, start checking this mirror. Make sure it is safe. What you're doing is you're there's not much time. You you have a quick look in the mirror and you move over, yeah. If there is a car there, you're gonna have problems judging how far it is, yeah. Okay. So don't leave those checks last minute. Okay. Check a bit early, okay. Other than that, it was quite good, yeah. Um. But then on one of the roundabouts, near the end, when I said go straight ahead, second exit, you went into the right hand lane, yeah, okay, and then as soon as you enter the roundabout, you came to the left. You should have just stayed in 
in that right hand lane. That right hand lane goes straight as well if you had looked at the markings. Yeah. So what you did was, as soon as you moved into the roundabout, you came to the left. Okay. So you should have stayed in your lane. That was a serious fault there. Okay. Yeah, that was the only fault you made on the actual roundabouts. Okay. Yeah, there was no other main issues on roundabouts. The other thing, you know, if you're going straight ahead on a roundabout. Yeah. Yeah. So if it's going straight ahead, second exit. Yeah. After you pass the first exit, what should you do? I, sh I should stay in same line. Yeah. No. Uh, on most of the roundabouts, you did do that. So say you you start in the left lane. You're in the left lane, which was good. And then as soon as you pass the first exit, if you're taking the second one, what should you do when you get to the first exit? Should give the signal. Yeah. Mirrors and signal. Yeah. You weren't doing that. Yeah, I didn't mark that as a serious. Okay. Yeah, you did that, you did that a couple of times though. Just be careful. Yeah, you should okay. you should check your mirrors and you should signal to let people know that you are taking that exit. Okay. The other one, the maneuver. Maneuver. When I should you park? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Before you start to reverse, where should you look? Should should look both ways. Everywhere out yeah, the back as well. Yeah. Yeah. You were focusing on the camera. Yeah, I was looking like, I don't know, maybe you don't no notice me. Oh, you recognize you notice, yeah, okay. But we've got the proof here, it's going to be yeah, on camera, yeah. You can check, like, <laughs> yeah. I do like that. Yeah, so you did, so there was, like, you know when you look at the back here, we can tell you looked at the back, is, like, you need to be stretching and actually look, that's, there you go. Did you well, do that at all? No, I don't no, think so, I you do didn't look at the back, so you know. I do like that. Yeah, you did, here, you looked here, is yeah. that the back? That's the back, there you go, see yeah. the difference here, okay? That's how you should no be looking, you. Yeah, thank okay? You. you know when you're reversing, before you reverse, yeah, not just for your test, in a busy car park, yeah, make sure you look all around, it's yeah, like, yeah, you know you. when you're just checking that mirror or the camera, you can't really see what's, yeah, what's to the sides of the wall, yeah, so make sure you turn your head and, and look out the back, thank okay? You. But even when you, re so you know when you reversed, you went inside the line, so you went forward and back in. That's okay to go forward and back, but you, you're spot before you go forward and before you go back, you've got to check all around. Your observations yeah. are very weak on the maneuver. Okay? Okay. So if you do need to read, just make sure you check again. Yeah? Yeah, that one point when you said, why did the, why is, what, uh, you said in Punjabi, yeah, why is the car rolling back? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah. It was rolling back because you, you had the first gear, which was good. Yeah. Yeah. But then when you took your foot off the brake, the car was rolling back because yeah. you're on the hill. What should you have done with the clutch? Pedal up. Yeah. Bit. Yeah. You should have brought the clutch pedal up a little yeah. bit. The clutch pedal was too low. Yeah. That's the reason why it was um, rolling back. I think I drive this car first time, maybe that's why Yeah. this was a problem. Okay, but in any car, yeah. if you're on a hill, if you haven't got the biting point, the car is going to roll back. Yeah. Is it yeah. a serious fault or like? You sorted it just in time. There's nobody behind us. Like the okay. first time you stalled as well on that steep hill. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, that was the second stall. Um, there was nobody behind us. You yeah. did take a bit of time, but there's nobody behind you, so you didn't okay. really affect anyone. Okay, so it wasn't a serious. Okay. Right then, so um, Preet, thank you very much for doing the thank mock you, test. Sir. Yeah, all the best for your test. And guys, like always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscri subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.